For today's assignment, we're going to want a new Google slide, and we want to make sure we stay in Safari so we have all the desktop tools. So we're going to go up here and type in slides.google.com. It will probably make you sign in. I already have. Okay, I'm going to choose a new blank slide. Down here on the bottom, it asks me if I want to open the app, and no, I do not, because I want all the features that a computer would have. I'm going to close the themes there, and I'm actually going to go here and choose a blank slide and get rid of the one that has the writing. I'm going to go up here, give it a name, and I'm going to grab a picture where I can actually have a character doing something. And I'm going to push and hold and I'm going to add to my photos. You also could push and hold and copy it. Now I can either choose to go grab something like a picture of a boat or something that I can use remove.bg to take the background off of and insert that or you can draw your own. Okay now that I've removed the background I'm going to push and hold. I'm going to choose copy. I'm going to go back to my slide and I'm going to go to edit and paste. If you have a keyboard, it's the command V. And then click on paste. It'll put it in there. Now you'll notice my blue box is huge. Okay. And I am going to grab the black, not the blue, and tap off. And now it's made it smaller. Shrink my boat to make it a little more realistic. In order to make a Google animation, you want to have many slides with little changes in order to make it fluid. Uh, so it looks like an actual animation. So instead of putting this all together again, we are going to click here and duplicate. Or if you have a keyboard, it's Command D. And then I'm going to grab my boat and I'm just going to move it. Ever so slightly over. And then I'm going to go duplicate again. Then I'm going to move my boat a little bit more. Click back on the slide. Make sure you're clicking back on the slide to duplicate, otherwise, you're just going to get multiple of your object that you're moving. And you just keep doing that until it gets to where you want it to be. And you can always give it a test drive either in present mode and clicking along, or if you have a keyboard, you can just use your arrow keys and see it move. That is how you do a Google animation. If you are a sixth grader, you need 20 slides. If you are a seventh grader, you need 30 slides. And if you are an eighth grader, you need 40 slides. And I know that sounds like a lot, but our boat is barely halfway and I'm already on slide eight. So to get it all the way over to the end, that's gonna take close to 20 and then I'll be done. Now, let's say that I wanted to put some text in there. A call out, let's do it right here. Put some text in there. Now, if I only make a copy of this one time, this dialog box will just disappear. So I'm gonna wanna have a couple of slides, duplicate that slide, so that as I'm flying along here, I'll duplicate one more time. Up to 17 slides, and I'm not even all the way across yet. But if we go back up to the top here and watch it go. You see that that dialog box went really fast, so we actually probably even want more. Right? Now this will be saved in your normal Google Slides, and so you can go there to turn it in using the three dots in the upper corner method to Schoology.